recall correctly, the song is called Run Like Smeg, and I know it's from Rise of the Triad. Because Hell Revealed's MIDI is mostly just Rise of the Triad music. Which isn't lame, because I love Rise of the Triad's music. It's one of the best video game soundtracks of all time, without a doubt. But I don't know why they market it as their own soundtrack when it's just a mix of Doom Tomb and Rise of the Triad music. Just saying. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention the hot start. You get a bunch of rockets and plasma out of it. There's also two arch balls. Uh, one of them, the one being we just killed, and a cyber demon that wakes up as soon as you fire a shot. There's really no reason to take care of him now. I mean, you get a BFG later in this level, so you might as well just wait until then. So, until then, you can just go through this hallway, grab a chain gun, and make men's speed of all the good scanners. They can't really do much to you, so just enjoy this temporary, uh, temporary power, power display. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah. Also, say hello to the world's. To the world's most pointless pain elemental. He can't attack you. Like literally, he can he can try to spawn a lost soul. They will also get stuck in the wall. Just doesn't make sense. And here you could say hello to the world's most pointless trap. Uh, it's supposed to trigger when you grab the super shotgun, but it didn't. So I'll kind of elaborate on what happens. I'll just show what happens. There's not really much to talk about. Anyway. Okay. So look at this. One baron. Two baron. Pretty much in all of these walls, there's a baron. And apparently it's one of Yonovan Donner's favorite traps in the entire WAD because he likes that you have to try to kill one bear and also another bear will teleport to well, uh, not teleport him, but just get in. And, you know, it really explains a lot when one of the level designer's favorite traps is literally just super shotgunning barons now, doesn't it? But, you know, if we do it Hell Revealed's way, then we're going to be here all day, so I just wanted to leave the barons for later because, as you can expect, super shotgunning one baron is already tedious enough, but... Having this super sh super shock on multiple barons in a row is exhausting. Exhaustingly boring, not hard. Just want to clarify. So now we can just run over here, kill another pretty pointless archfall, and grab some armor. Um, there's also some there's also a little bit of ammo in here and a shotgun if you missed it. But you know we we're already pretty well prepared, so we don't really need it. Although the plasma is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So now it's a good time to start taking care of the cyber demon. Um, I think I mentioned that there is a BFG in this level, but I guess in hindsight I just wanted to kill the Cyber Demon, it didn't really matter to me. Yeah, it's weird because sometimes this level does feel a little confusing to navigate, but I know the way forward is actually like right over here. Uh, I think it's just open straight from the get-go and I know that's where the BFG is, but I don't think I realized that while recording this demo. I mean, it's not like there's really much harm done. Also, those barons are from the Baron Trap with the Super Shotgun, in case you were wondering. I mean, again, Super Shotgunning a Baron, I mean, Cyber Demon is just tedious at most. And then there's Archfall, who doesn't even wake up unless he sees you, or unless you step into the area. Which, yeah, basically, he sees you. Pretty much even worse than the first one. Even on UV+, Plus, this level's kind of a joke. And that's saying something by how revealed standards when I say the level's a joke. Whatever. We got the rocket launcher so we can make immense meat of the the Mancubi. A couple of Hell Knights up here. And in the other room there'll be a couple of Archfowls and Barons. But thankfully the Archfowls will be right by the door so you can kill the Archfowls first with relatively no trouble. So just like so, it's just super shotgunning Hell Knights, which is definitely more entertaining than super shotgunning Barons only because they're weaker. Yep, see? But look, this is your first secret, which is just shells. I don't really know why, kind of a lame secret, but I mean, rocketing Archfowls is pretty fun. So you could just go ahead and do that. But not much to talk about, really, that we haven't already seen. And look, there are the barons. Uh, I, I don't feel like the archfalls are supposed to run out first. I feel like the difficulty is supposed to be you let one archfall wander out, and then the barons, and it's just hard to take care of the archfall and the barons, which, you know, you, you, it's pretty easy to keep that from happening. So, not really much of a fight. And look, there's the BFG 9000. Yeah, you want to keep a good eye. And, because uh, there'll be an archfall right there when you walk right out. And having him resurrect barons could be downright catastrophic. Or at least it would be if you didn't have to be a 9000 But frankly, there are some situations in this level where you just want to save the cell ammo for. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the main reason why I, why I wanted to avoid using the BFG. Now that I really think about and remember this level. Because uh, you don't really get a too, too much cell ammo. You just kind of have to work with what you get. And of course, there's two cyber demons in this area. One of them's an addition on UV+, just like the previous cyber demon we fought. I probably should have just rushed him, put the two-shot thing, 
Uh, to be honest, two shutting cybers is something I can do rather easily, but I just don't really do it that much anymore. I think in hindsight, I just didn't want to risk dying like that. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty hit. Like I said, I, I, I can two shot cybers, and I've done it a lot, but for some strange reason I just didn't do it this time, and I'm really not sure why I didn't. I don't know, it's probably the reason why I switched into Super Shotgun is just to save cell ammo again. For for one encounter that's honestly not necessarily hard, just you kinda win or you don't. And you know if you're gonna win or you're not. There's also a secret right here, which is some more cell ammo. Greatly appreciated. There's also shells in this room, so you can take great advantage of that. At this point we're pretty much about halfway through the level, so we can start transitioning towards some of the old towards the end of this level. Yeah, it's not a very big level. Which is weird because the last level is probably the biggest level so far. This one might even be the smallest level so far. Even compared to some of the really early ones. And there you go, there's your final secret. This is a preserve pack I use for health. Like, even compared to some of the really early levels, like level 1 and 2, this one is uh, relatively short and simple. And here we can come back to the Baron room. I'm surprised that the Barons didn't all wake up but uh, by hearing me shoot, but, you know, two of them did. Even though I think only one of them saw me. I mean, normally they're all supposed to be down here waiting for you, but that didn't happen, so I guess I'm kind of grateful for it because, again, it's not like it's hard, it's just tedious. Yeah, see, look, we can kind of have fun with Berserk Punching, but not too much fun because I'm not the best at Berserk Punching. Yeah, see, one more good hit and we're done, so I just wanted to switch to the SSG. And that's, uh, well, he's almost dead. Don't worry about it. There we go. Wait. There we go. That's one of the final Baron's dead. Yeah, this isn't really fun to watch. And two Baron's dead. Oh, wow. Thank goodness. And a bunch of shells as our reward. Yeah, if you do, trust me when I say that was boring, but it's even more boring if you do it the way that's intended. And it's still kind of hilarious to me that that's one of Yonder Vendano's favorite traps, just doing nothing but super shotgunning Baron's. It's boring even if you do it the way I did, which makes it a lot more fun, or at least a lot less tedious. Now this right here is actually a pretty decent trap. Well, with the BFG, we can we could just like do this. Yeah, they even can, like I've had practice runs where the BFG was actually able to kill all. Like I'm close enough, but that didn't happen this time. So that's kind of a bummer, but it was still satisfying to say the least. So did I really lose? There we go. That's a dead arachnophon. Plenty of health in this section, so... But of course, when you step down here, there's gonna be Lost Soul. They want you to fire at the Lost Soul and wake up all the pain elementals, but... Uh, let's be real, you, you don't have to do that, you can dodge the Lost Soul pretty easily. And then just take care of the pain elemental also rather easily. It's not very... as you can see, it's not very hard to outsmart Hell Revealed. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's Cyberdame, he's also new. No, don't worry. We're not going to slow roll him. I was just trying to wake up some of the enemies. We're trying to get the Cyber Demon to target me as long as he could, so that way, you know, the enemies can actually make work on him. See? And he can get overwhelmed by Cacodemon, so everyone wins except for the Cyber Demon. And the enemies, when they inevitably die to the Cyber Demon, it's so better than nothing. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that Cyber Demon, I mean, that Cacodemon was in fighting or not, and she wasn't. And then two big hits from that Cacodemon. Ooh, kind of embarrassing in hindsight, actually. It's not very often where I'll actually, you know, worry about death at the hands of a, of a regular old Cacodemon. Even fast Cacodemons don't give me too much trouble, so... Yeah, probably one of my worst moments in hindsight. Alright, you see the Cyber Demon over here. Look at him go. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's a bunch of pinkies in the, in the pit, so he's just killing some of them for me. That's actually kind of nice of him. Yeah, now we're gonna start trying to make work on him, but of course I forgot there's there's this one cyber not cyber caco thing. I cannot talk today. You know, normally there's imps over there, but I guess he killed those too. I was about to say, oh, there's a lot of imps over there, but it's really just a caca demon. All right, there we go. Now the only real problem is just a cyber demon, and we're trying to save cell ammo because well we have we have enough to work with for some of the later sections, but obviously I didn't want to risk rushing him. And it's less because this level's hard, more because it's just bad and I didn't want to play it again, to be honest. Probably the weakest Hell Revealed map so far, if I'm being perfectly honest. 
But, uh, whatever, at least it's not terribly difficult. Okay. Yeah, I got a little impatient, so... But then I saw that rocket heading for me, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't rush him. Which is a really new move, in my opinion. Seriously, this is one of my worst... This is one of my worst uh, demo recordings ever, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, whatever, you kill the Cyber Demon, and you go for the auto map, and a little monster closet over here will open up. Shoot a couple of rockets and call it a day. They can barely tank rockets or revenants and a chain gunner. Well, the chain gunner can't do crap, so. There, there you go. Easy as fine. Make sure you've killed all the pinkies. And you can, of course, grab the auto map, although it's not like you really need it. This level isn't that confusing. Maybe make a jump instead of having to go down into the super lava. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard an enemy down there, but it wasn't pinky. Thankfully, all you have to do to go up is just step there. Uh, if you want to go back down, then yeah, you just also step there. So hey, at least it's not confusing. Although I do remember playing this level blind once and just being, how the hell do I get back up? Because, again, I played Hell Revealed after playing, like, if I recall correctly, Ancient Aliens for the first... Not Ancient Aliens, but Valiant for the first time. And I was just so used to things actually making sense and not just, oh, you step here and a thing happens. Alright, not over there. Okay, so here's the part I really don't like. Just a couple more health, health pickups. Here's the part I really don't like, okay? Now, you do that. Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful not to do it. Which I kind of messed up here. The reason why you don't want that to happen is because... You step down here, and you get two large falls and a spider mastermind. Yeah, look, and they can still kind of see you. And then, it's just, it's just not cool. Like, let's not pretend it is. Like, come on, man. You gotta have plenty of cell ammo for that, or else you're just screwed. But hey, at least you have a Megasphere. If you do that a little earlier, then you can ride the Megasphere the rest of the level. But I didn't, because frankly, the Megasphere ain't worth it, to be honest. Alright, three remaining enemies. And if I recall correctly, all of them are by the exit. Get an Archfile. Wow, an Archfell is actually all that's guarding the exit. Holy crap. I can't even remember this level even when I'm talking about playing it. Okay, I'm sure none of us want to go through the long and painful process of, um... Watching me look for the last ring monster, so let's just speed it up a little bit. Yeah, that Arachnatron didn't spawn in earlier, so okay, let's speed it up a little more. Maybe a little more. Yeah, I thought it might have been a pain on that, but it wasn't. Maybe speed it up a little more. There we go. All right, there we go. That's the end of the level. Uh, you just have to go to the red room. No, not that kind of red room, like the kind you've seen on the dark web. I mean, just a regular old red room. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this horrible level. You know, for being a great Halls of Fire, there's like one room that vaguely resembles fire, and even then it's ugly. And, you know, saying it resembles fire is a stretch. And also the dog's barking, so I apologize if you hear, but overall, this is probably the worst Hell Revealed map of the set so far. Even by Hell Revealed standards, it's very ugly, the visuals aren't consistent, the combat is bland. Uh, Run Like Smeg does not fit this level at all. Like, the music's way better than the level. Run Like Smeg deserves to be in a better level, without a doubt. Uh, the next level is a lot better, so look forward to that, but this one, this one just ain't it, man. So, overall, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later.